So we are talking about mats and how to use track mat key in various ways. Here we're going to have the background be the bike and what we're going to do now is create an effect to highlight that bike. Uh, let's say the person on the left with the yellow. We're going to have we're going to have the highlight track that bike. Okay, so the bike is the background. Now we're going to create a mat using the new item and we're going to select black okay and our size is 640 by 480. here's our black video we're going to add to the third layer because that's where our mat is going to be so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to create a circle a soft circle on that using an effect in generate so let's go over to effects and then come down here to generate and we're going to generate a circle and I'm going to add a circle to the black video. Okay, it's pretty solid there. Uh, let's say if I want it to be a little softer, here are my parameters that I can use in my effects control. On my feathering, I'm going to open that up and feather the edge a little bit. Okay, and that also makes it a little bigger. Okay, so here we are at the beginning, and I'm going to, in fact, move that over and center that over on my bicycle. Okay, and that's kind of the beginning position. So I'm going to click Toggle Animation on. Okay, and if I move the bike over here, I'm going to then center it and move it up here to the top. So I could first do this animation, or I could first do the actual effect. Okay, she kind of seems to dip down. So I'm going to bring that down as another keyframe. Okay, so now I have three keyframes. And if I play this back, you see it's following pretty good. Okay, she's moving ahead there. So let's make another keyframe over here and down here. And if I look at my keyframes, if I go up to the window workspace effects, it opens up and I could see my multiple keyframes. Okay, so here she is down and moving over to the right. And let's see, I want to move this out over here to the right a little bit more and maybe down a little bit. I could also make it a little smaller, but that's that's good enough for now. Ooh, now she pops way up here. So I'm going to move that up here and see how that follows. Okay, that follows pretty well. And now she goes down a little bit more. And of course the highlight does get smaller, but that's okay. We'll just leave it as this. And she kind of moves up at the end. Okay, so those are my multiple keyframes. I see here. They're all in animating the circle. Okay, so where does the circle start? It starts here. Ooh, that's a little bit high. So let's bring that down a little bit and create another keyframe. Okay, and let's play that and see how that looks. Okay, so the white dot is following the bike pretty well there. Okay, so now let's create the highlight. So to do that, it's basically the same video as the bike cable. And so I'm going to copy that. I'm hitting the Option key, and I'm going to click and move this up to create the copy. So that was one way that we learned how to do a copy way back in, I think, week two. Now, what, what, what else do we need to do? Well, we need to find an effect on layer two, which is going to be the fill for the mat that is the circle. Okay, so let's first of all go ahead and find the effect mat. In fact, I'm going to have my window and workspace and go back to editing. So I'm going to look under video effects for tint. So I'm going to type in tint and I see here it's under color correct. So if I bring tint and this is going to be my fill, okay, and as soon as I lay it down on layer two it becomes black and white. So let's make this kind of a blue highlight. Okay, I'm going to make it blue here, add some more um, saturation to it and say okay. And then instead of, in fact, let's make this, and let's make my, let's make the black also a little bit on the blue side, like that. In fact, let's make this a little bit brighter. How about right about that? Okay, so that's a nice bright blue. And now I have to look for track mat key to fill the circle. So I'm going to type in track, and of course I have it over here in keen. So I'm going to add that to layer two, which is the fill. 
Okay, and that was their tint. The composite using the matte alpha. Well, we saw here that there was no alpha. There was a white circle on a black background. So what we need to do is switch it over to matte luma. And of course, nothing happens until you say matte. And where is the matte? That's video layer three. And there's my blue highlight. Okay, so if I play that back, this is what it looks like. Okay, and at any point I could adjust the color separately from the track matte key. So for instance, if I thought that my tint was a little too dark, I could come here and make it a bit brighter if I wanted to.